Lemon posset, a really easy, versatile dessert. Packed full of sweetness, packed full of acidity. Three ingredients, super cheap. Lemon posset, let's get it. Now lemon posset, as the name suggests, obviously starts with lemons. We've got these little lemons here. They're beautiful, they're unwaxed, they're fragrant. We're gonna take these down to the board with a microplane. Now a microplane is kind of like a little grater. It's got these tiny little teeth that shave away at certain bits of whatever you put on there. So if you're looking at grating garlic, grating ginger, taking the zest off of citrus, a microplane is a perfect tool for you to have. Down to the board. And then we just grate it off, that outside layer, of lemon, all the fragrance, you should start to smell it straight away. But when you grate something, when you microplane something, and especially citrus, you need to be super careful because if you go too deep, you'll end up getting this white bit, which is the pith. What we want is the perfume, the fragrance, the flavor, and that is in the outside layer of lemon, that one surrounding case of the yellow stuff. Any white stuff is gonna be bitter. Gentle with your microplane, scrape it across, and take all the flavor out. Collect all that zest and stick it straight in the bowl. Now. Juice and lemons. There's one vital thing you need to do before you juice your lemons, and that's roll them. Why? So we disrupt the integral makeup of the lemon on the inside and extract the maximum amount of juice. So now simply in half and then squeeze out and extract all of that juice. Now we've got cream and we've got sugar. We've got fat, we've got flavor, we've got sweetness. It's the building blocks of all good desserts. So very simply, get yourself 600 milliliters, 600 grams of double cream into a pan. We take 150 grams of sugar, about 23% sweetness, a really nice sweet dessert to off balance and offset the acidity from that lemon juice into the pan. That goes on to heat. Now when you put any sort of dairy, milk, cream, it could even be sour cream, ricotta, whatever it is, into a pan and heating it up. Agitate the cream the whole time it's warming up until you get to the stage where it looks like it's simmering. You can do this on a medium heat, but you'll be able to feel the slight rumble in your spatula as you drag it across the base of the pan. Now there's no gelatin in this dessert because we want it to set from the fat of the cream reacting with the acidity of the lemon juice. So it's starting to bubble now, turned it right down. I can just see it, the tinge of yellow starting to come out of the cream, a slight shine on the surface of that boil, and that's the moisture escaping through the steam and the fat content concentrating in that cream which is what we want. I'm gonna take it off the heat, pour it straight into a glass jug. This cream has been in the jug now for about two minutes. It started to cool slightly, but before it cools fully, I wanna add the lemon juice. We need to continue to agitate the cream so it doesn't curdle, because the lemon juice is gonna thicken that up. Now, posset is an old English traditional pudding. It first derived from a medicinal drink that was actually taken hot. It was an early medicinal practice where they mixed milk with wine or ale. It then went extinct, for a couple of hundred years and came back in the 19th century as a cool dessert with cream, sugar, and citrus-based confectionery. Fast forward another hundred years and we have today the perfectly set, beautifully creamy, acidic, sweet, posset that we know and love. When we add lemon juice back to the cream, we're also adding a good amount of moisture. So those shiny bits that have split out have started to re-emulsify. And what you end up with is this really tight, nice, shiny, creamy looking custard almost. So we're gonna take that now, it's cooled slightly, into our glasses, right to the top. Now this doesn't need to be big martini glasses. This could be egg cups for the kids. This could be mugs. This could be the bottom of a bowl with berries and summer fruits on top. Take this dessert wherever you want. I'm gonna take my finger now, just while it's still hot, pop any bubbles on the surface, just to help a nice flat setting of the top of the posset. I'm gonna bang these straight in the fridge. They're gonna stay in the fridge for about four to six hours, just to cool down for those fat molecules to create structure and body in that posset. Four hours has passed and we've got these stunning set possets ready to serve. They're thick, they're homogenous, they're beautiful. You've got a lovely structure. It doesn't come out of the glass. It's completely set, firm, silky, and luxurious. It's done, it's finished, it's quick, it's easy, it's delicious, it's full of fat and flavor, sugar and acidity. Lemon Posset 101, enjoy it at home with friends and family. Avant-garde!